worms. Their world lay under a scorching sun. Its intensity made monstrous through the inventions of the bygone Q. The surface lay littered with husks of dead cities, baking endlessly like shattered statues in a derelict oven. Yet life remained on this unforgiving place. Forest of crystalline plants blanketed the surface, recycling oxygen for the animal life that teemed underground. One such species, barely longer than the arms of their ancestors, was the sole surviving vertebrate. Furthermore, it was the planet's last heir of the star people. Distorted beyond recognition by genetic modification, they looked for all the world like pale, overgrown worms. Tiny, feeble feet and hands modified for digging were all that betrayed their noble heritage. Aside from these organs, all was simplified for the life underground. Their eyes were pinpricks. They lacked teeth, external ears, and the better half of their nervous system. The lives of these Ezrat people did not extend beyond digging aimlessly. If they encountered food, they devoured it. If they encountered others of their kind, they sometimes devoured them too. But mostly they mated and multiplied and managed to preserve a single shred of their humanity in their genes. In time, it would do them good.